odds are, at least one of these devilish creatures terrified you as a child. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our top 10 Goosebumps monsters. There's only one way you could destroy Elastic Boy. What's that? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the scariest and most iconic monsters to haunt the pages of R.L. Stein's seminal children's horror series, as well as the TV series and feature film it would later spawn. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kat Cressida, and not only am I a WatchMojo addict, it's true, and a bit of a horror film geek, but I also happen to have been lucky enough to voice a few particularly famous horror characters who really feel the love this spooktacular time of year, including the Black Widow Bride for Disney Park's The Haunted Mansion and Bloody Mary from Telltale Games' iconic fables, The Wolf Among Us. Yeah, not sure what it is about my voice that's such a fit for axe-wielding murderesses, but hey, who's complaining, right? Now, as all of you Halloween fans know, the incredible Goosebumps sequel just hit theaters. And wouldn't you know, I also had the huge honor of voicing a few ghouls and goblins, not to mention gummy bears, in Goosebumps Haunted Halloween. And so, the awesome folk at Watch Mojo thought I might be just the ghoul, a, a girl, to kick off this very special Halloween treat. All right, enough of that BTS. Let the Watch Mojo creepy countdown begin. Number 10. The Lawn Gnomes. Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Whoa, man, these things are weird looking. Ah! Those tiny plaster figures that adorn the front lawns of homes around the world have always been a little on the creepy side, but in the pages of Goosebumps, they're seriously scary. These seemingly innocuous lawn ornaments come to life at night to cause havoc and mischief. As is often the case, the two kids who realize what's happening can't quite convince their parents, and as a result have to save the day themselves. Luckily, the tiny terrors have one weakness. They freeze in place whenever they hear a dog whistle. So if you don't happen to have one handy, you're in for a rough night. Number 9. The Mummy. Return of the Mummy. Uh-oh. Nobody home. For centuries, mummified remains have both fascinated and terrified us, so naturally Stein capitalized on this classic horror monster by including it in several books. The one that appeared in the 23rd Goosebumps book was originally Prince Koru, King Tut's cousin. He gets rudely awakened by his sister, who's looking pretty spry for a few thousand years and counting, when she calls upon him to kill some pesky children. Destroy them, my brother! There can be no witnesses. But hey, nobody likes being dragged out of bed, right? So he attacks his dear sister instead. Kinda grouchy, but we can't say we blame him. It sure made for a notable twist, though. Number 8. The Abominable Snowman The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena A frostier cousin to the better-known Sasquatch, this cool customer is discovered frozen in a block of ice in Alaska by a researcher and his kids. The creature is eventually brought back to their home in Pasadena, California, where it escapes after the ice melts. While it may look scary, with razor-sharp claws and teeth, it's actually pretty friendly once you get on its good side by offering it some trail mix. <laughs> In the movie version, the abominable snowman is the very first monster to get released from its book, and the ensuing chaos causes plenty of headaches for the characters, who are unfortunately a little short on trail mix. <sighs> Number 7. Murder the Clown, a nightmare on Clown Street. Clowns have always been scary, <laughs> but with a name like this, you know that this clown is a cut above the rest. 
Still, it's worth remembering that this particular monster isn't actually the villain of his story. He's just one of many clowns sent to the Clown Street Hotel, a prison for clowns operated by the real threat the mysterious Frightener. In the movie version, murder is a bit less sympathetic and a whole lot scarier, and can be regularly seen spreading terror with his fellow monsters after being released from their respective books. Regardless of the iteration, Murder the Clown is a character who's hard to forget. Number 6. The Cursed Camera Say cheese and die! A lot of people don't like having their pictures taken, me especially, and that's just with regular cameras. I think this thing's a camera. Cool camera! Nice! Okay, take my picture. But this very special camera would have anyone covering their face. A cursed item created by a mysterious inventor. The camera causes misfortune for anyone or anything it takes pictures of, with the resulting photo foretelling their horrible fate. The only way to save yourself if you're unlucky enough to get snapped by this fiendish invention is to turn the resulting photo into a negative. And if you don't do this in time, the camera will steal your soul. Was that so hard? Worst of all, you can't even put a cool filter on the photos it takes. Okay, now that really sucks. Number 5. Monster Blood Monster Blood Feels like rubber. The Goosebumps series is no stranger to blobs of all shapes and sizes. Who could forget the blob that ate everyone? But this slimy green terror takes the cake. At first glance, this stuff looks like your normal, everyday novelty goop. But this substance is actually alive and hungry. It can move around on its own and completely devours anything it manages to catch. But that's not all. If you're foolish enough to eat some of the ghoulish goo, then you'll grow to gigantic proportions. It's like you've got a 10-foot trigger running around the neighborhood. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, but imagine having to contend with a giant dog or hamster. <laughs> Not so funny anymore, is it? Ah! Number 4. The Scarecrows. The Scarecrow walks at midnight. It's just been blown off its post. Another entry on the long list of things that were already plenty scary before appearing in the pages of a Goosebumps book. These straw-stuffed figures are the stuff of nightmares. The dummies used to keep crows away from crops are a regular sight across North America, and their often spooky visages have become a regular sight for horror fans. The ones appearing in the 20th Goosebumps book are brought to life by a farmhand, thanks to the mishandling of yet another mysterious book, and much to the chagrin of the farm's owners. Thankfully, they're still vulnerable to good old-fashioned fire. Phew! Number 3. The Werewolf. The Werewolf of Beaver Swamp. <laughs> it doesn't get much more classic than a werewolf, but throw in a spooky swamp and you get one scary book. When Grady, the main character of the 14th Goosebumps book, arrives at his new home next to Fever Swamp, he has more to worry about than making friends. People usually don't move into Fever Swamp. They move out. There's something mysterious out there killing animals, and despite what others might think, it's not his new dog, Wolf. What's the matter, boy? What? Somebody's watching us. In many ways, the titular beast is a bog-standard werewolf, but that doesn't keep it from being one of the deadlier monsters to come out of the series, with the creepy atmosphere of Fever Swamp only adding to the scare factor. Number 2. The Haunted Mask The Haunted Mask Every October, we all look for the scariest costume to wear when trick-or-treating, but it's easy to go too far. And we definitely call donning an evil, cursed Halloween mask too far. <laughs> when the easily frightened Carly Beth decides she needs to find the scariest mask ever for Halloween, this fearful face catches her eye. But after wearing it for some time, the mask becomes impossible to take off and starts turning the good-natured Carly into something else altogether. <laughs> As far as we're concerned, the green, toothy appearance of this classic monster is one of the most iconic sights in Goosebumps history, and definitely one of the scariest.
Now, before we reveal our topic, let's have a look at some of our honorable monster mentions. <laughs> oh my god! Watch out! Stop driving straight! He's catching up! I'm going to race! Does someone else want to drive? Because I'll pull over right now! You know, like snakes did. <laughs> And I was just kidding, comfortable. Number one, Slappy the Dummy, Knight of the Living Dummy. Slappy, what happened to your face? It's your bad jokes. They cracked me up. Without question, the most memorable monster to ever appear in the series, this living ventriloquist dummy has become one of the poster boys for the entire Goosebumps franchise. And no wonder. He's certainly the most chatty creature Stein ever came up with. How about that mother of yours? She went to a store and asked the clerk if he had anything her size, and he told her to try the freight elevator. <laughs> with his popularity allowing him to continually appear as a regular antagonist in the books, games, and of course the movies, even serving as the main villain in the Jack Black flick, being the one responsible for freeing all of the other monsters from their books. All my friends in one place! I've never been so happy! It takes a lot to be number one in a franchise bursting at the seams with iconic entities, but Slappy makes it look easy. Well, that about wraps up our wickedly good, creepy countdown of top Goosebumps ghouls. Huge thanks to Watch Mojo for allowing me to be your ghost, a uh, guest host. And hey, if you're looking for a little more ghoulish delight, or happen to be a Disney addict, video gamer, or fan of Marvel magic, be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram at Cat Cressida, where my own Halloween countdown has just begun. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.